Hi everyone, welcome to April's Crafting Addiction. I'm having a lot of response to my new scrapbook that I'm doing online um, and showing you pictures of it as I finish it. And some of you asked me how to make the box for the scrapbook and start to go in. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for you today on how to do that. You're going to need two pieces of 12 by 12 basic black cardstock or whatever your favorite color is. This just happens to be black and it's 12 by 12 so we're going to go with it. Um, you're going to score and cut your paper well, let's, first. Let's cut our paper to 10 by 9 and a half. Okay, so we're going to, and my stamp and trimmer allows me to cut two pieces up together at the same time. So we're going to go 10. By nine and a half. I need to trim, change my blade, I guess. Okay. And now we're going to score a half an inch on the nine and a half inch side on both pieces. So you're going to score, come down to eight and a half. And I'm going to use my little doohickey, a little scoring tool here. Okay, that's scored. They're both scored now at eight and a half. And we're going to score now one inch on all three other sides. So I'm just going to put it back in my trimmer. The one inch mark and score down. Do the same thing to your other piece. Okay, I'm going to put my trimmer up. No longer need it. I'm going to bring my piece back in front of me and I am going to um, cut my little box out down here on the bottom, a little flappy. I'm just going to cut one end of it. And again, I'm just going to cut one end of it. I'm going to do the same thing to my other piece. Okay, and now I'm just going to crease all my score fold, my folded scores. Just be careful not to rip it. This is Stampin' Up's um, black cardstock, basic black cardstock. got a little texture to it so if you're working with texture paper I would advise just to you know be careful when you're burnishing your score lines I'm sorry if I'm out of camera a little bit here okay 
I'm going to take my little half inch that I did a minute ago and I'm going to fold that piece over. And I'm going to put sticky strip on it. You can also use score tape. It's totally up to you. But I like the sticky strip, the red line tape. To me, it just gives a nice firm hold to it. And you want to get it as close to the edge as possible. And cut it. And I'm going to use my bone folder again. Isn't it amazing how things just disappear on you when you're working with them? And I'm just going to burnish that down. Okay. Because you know sticky strip is camera shy. I've come to realize that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that backing off. And I'm just going to fold it over and burnish it down again. And now I'm going to use sticky strip again just to hold my tabs in place like that. So you want to make sure that you put the sticky strip on the opposite side. This is probably too long, but that's fine. Just want a little piece here. And I'm just going to put a little piece here. And do the same thing for this one. that I have those on there, again, make sure it's burnished. And you're just going to add here the tabs to your base here. And all I'm doing is pushing this up and adhering. Just like that. Make sure it's good and it's on there. And if you want wiggle room, you can use the multi-purpose Tombow glue. It works well with this project as well. Or whatever adhesive you find that you like the best. And again, I'm just folding that over making sure it sticks. Okay. So I got a good nice, nice sturdy bottom box, bottom of my box now. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to stop the camera and I will be right back so you don't have to see me do the other one.